And the month of May continues with opening day today at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Dix, of course, uh, kicks off a busy month at the track, and Sunrise reporter Matt McCutcheon is there live this morning with all there is to do and see, including some changes this year. Hey, Matt. Naomi, good morning. It's hard to believe we're already talking about everything leading up here in the busy month of May to the 99th running this year of the Indianapolis 500. And here at the track, there are a couple things you're going to notice that's different. For example, we're not blue, but we're definitely seeing a lot of blue right here. This is one of the huge new video boards installed here at the track. Right now, of course, it has that blue image on there, but once the images are on, it is crystal clear, 100% high definition. This is designed so that everyone, regardless if you're in the stand or if you're out and about, walking around, you'll have an incredible view of what's going on here at the track. Of course, this 99th running includes the pace car driver Jeff Gordon, an Indiana native who will be taking part in the event. Other changes include practices here at the track as late as 7 o'clock at night. That's because not everyone is able to take the afternoon to come out here and absorb a full day of practices and everything that goes on here at the track. And there's also a huge change this year in those aerodynamic kits with one thing in mind, speed. We're going to hear more about that coming up in our next hour on Sunrise, including how all this came about and why we've had to wait to like the 99th running here of the 500 to get a look at that. Here's more information now on your screen about everything you can expect this busy month of May here at the track. If you want to come out today to opening day, gates will open at 930 this morning. Ticket costs $15. Then we're just talking a week away, May 9th. That is the Angie's List Grand Prix of Indianapolis right here at the track. So we're already talking a race here in just a week's time. Then we get back to all things 500 starting on May 11th. That's when 500 practice begins. Then we enter into qualifications on May 16th. All of that leading up to the May 24th running, the 99th running of the Indianapolis 500. So a lot of events going on out here today. And I also just checked a little bit ago to see for ticket prices for next week's race, the Grand Prix. Those tickets are still available beginning at about $40. So we have much more information on all of that and this busy month of May coming up here on WTHR.com. And again, in our next hour, we're going to hear more more about those aerodynamic kits with an incredible change to the design of the back of the cars, again, with one thing in mind, speed. For now, reporting live, Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Very cool, Matt. Thank you.